chapter 9, Mishnah 4. The Mishnah now teaches about a house in a walled city that is not redeemed within 12 months. If the final day of the 12 months arrived and the house was not redeemed by the end of the day, the house would pass permanently into the buyer's possession and the seller would lose his right to redeem it. This law applies both to someone who buys a house and to someone to whom the house is given as a gift. Either way, after one year passes without the house being redeemed, it becomes the permanent possession of the buyer or the one who received it as a gift. For it says regarding a house that was not redeemed within 12 months, in Vayikra chapter 27 verse 30, the house shall pass latzemisus, permanently, to the one who bought it. The Torah could have used the shorter word latzmus, which would also mean permanently. By using the longer word latzmisus, the Torah indicates that even a house given as a gift is subject to the rules for redeeming a house in a walled city. The Mishnah discusses a rabbinic law concerning redeeming a house at the end of 12 months and the reason it was instituted. Originally, the buyer of a house in a walled city would hide on the final day of the 12th month so that the seller should not be able to redeem it, in order that it should become permanently his. Hillel the Elder therefore decreed that the seller may deposit his money in a certain chamber in the Beis Hamikdash, and this would be considered the redemption, and the seller can, could then break down the door of the house and enter and take possession of it. The buyer could then come and take his money from the chamber whenever he wanted.